Benny, you and the other first year boys went down to Melbourne last week for the AFLPA induction camp. Can you talk us through that and what that involved? Yeah, so the AFLPA induction was uh, just a chance to get your head around a few things such as tax and um, financial planning and things like that. It was um, more of an introduction in, in terms of that. And um, yeah, it was exciting to see some other players that you've played with for the, um, through juniors and whatnot. So yeah, it was a good camp. The likes of Nick Dalsano and Jimmy Bartell addressed the group. Can you tell us anything you learned from them and what they spoke about? Yeah, well, um, we were sort of overloaded with some information over the weekend um, and Jimmy Bartell and um, a few others spoke to us and it was really good to um, get their thoughts on their playing career over 300 games for both of them and um, such illustrious careers. It was um, yeah, a good chance to, um, I guess, learn something off them and um, the way they spoke. Back here at Metricon, are there any uh, players or coaches that have provided guidance and uh, expertise to you and really taken you under their wings? Yeah, everyone's been really great. Um, the coaches and even the players have been really good in taking me under their wing and um, showing the ropes, I guess. And um, it's exciting coming up to um, the JLT Challenge. And um, yeah, it's obviously an exciting time of the year. How is that excitement going into that first pre-season game? Are you sort of really looking forward to pulling on that red Guernsey for the first time? Yeah, it is exciting. It's a good chance for everyone to sort of prove themselves a little bit further. And um, we've been doing some match simulations at training, um, trying to put our best foot forward towards um, getting selection in round one and um, through the JRT. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just an exciting period, I guess. How has the change been in training since you returned from the Christmas break? Obviously, it's stepped up a notch in intensity. Yeah, it's definitely ramped up. Um, a lot of players are becoming more competitive and um, we're heading in the right direction, that's for sure. It's, um, yeah, as I said, pretty competitive for spots and um, everyone's just pushing their cause to get around one selection. Personally, how are you going with the heat? It's a little bit different to back home in Morwell. Yeah, oh, it's um, just the humidity up here is a little bit different compared to back home where it's more of a dry heat. But um, through training, it's a bit of a struggle. But um, yeah, you get down to the beach and it's nice. Have you spoken with any of the coaches yet about what your goals and uh, expectations are for 2017? Yeah, I had a brief discussion with um, the DOC coach, um, Aaron Rogers, and um, he's, yeah, he's been great for me and um, a lot of other players as well in terms of setting goals for not, not just long term but short term as well and um, really focusing on having a good year. And just finally, yourself, Scrimmer, Bozy and uh, Will Brody went out for a game of golf last week. Who won? Uh, Bozy got up, but um, yeah, I'll get him next time, I guess. Thanks for your time, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks.